Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce his latest versions from Pini Movie. That is the Remote Air Pro. Other than the Remote Air Pro, they also launched two new uh, products, which is the Remote Air 2 and also the Remote Air Mini. So which we will uh, talk about it in the next video. So, okay, what's the difference in between this and then with the previous version and maybe with the other products? Okay, first, this, you know that there is a lot of like maybe wireless floor focus system and then they will have a receiver and then maybe a, which you connect all the uh, maybe a motors on it and then with the powers and everything. But now, okay, this version, the PD Movie, this generations of PD Movie, they have already built in the receiver into one of the motors. So that means you get much tidy and then no light, maybe more cables light, maybe running around together. So for example, like now I got like three uh, motors at the side. So what you need to do is just only like daisy change each other at the end and then you connect it with the uh, power, with the remount and then with D-tap and then that's it. It's really uh, easy and simple. And the other thing is, I like this, is because that is one of the, um, uh, wireless full focus system, which they are using uh, apps. So apps, you will think, okay, maybe it's not really like maybe a professional, but to be honest, for me, it is an infinity possibility. Because, okay, you know the apps is very easy to be updated. So that means, okay, if you want to have like, if a lot of like maybe uh, clients want to add some features onto the, uh, onto the uh, products, and then maybe the PD Movie is very easy and also can be very fast to react and then to add some function in it, which make it like maybe infinity expandable. So, uh, and also because it's multi-touch screen, so that means it's uh, because it uses the uh, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus or the iPod Touch. So that means it's a multi-touch unit and then which you can actually control, set everything and then pretty easily and then it's very freely too. So compared with uh, maybe a, a, a physical buttons and also maybe a small screen like that and then I think that is much better maybe compared with the old traditional light -like design. So. Okay, so that is it, and then let us talk about how to set this up. Okay, so the motor setup is very easy. So you, okay, I'm already set up like two of them, and then, okay, this one is the receiver. So you will see they are, the connector is slightly different than the others, which you will put the remote, uh, the antenna on here. So the setup is so easy. So you see the hole here, uh, so you put onto, onto the rod, and then you align your uh, gear onto the uh, onto the gear onto the flat on uh, on your on your lens. So lock it like this. Okay, fine. So then, okay, I daisy chain it. So what I need to do is connect this with the limo to the next one, and then on the second, and then I do the same on the third one. Okay, like this. Okay, at the end. I just connected the power connector, the cables with the batteries. So that's it. Pretty easy. For the control, it's easy to set up. Okay, so first you need to have like maybe um, the um, remote air pro control and also your phone. Okay, so at this moment, they sub the mounting is support the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, and also the iPod Touch. So, okay, uh, first, you must need to go to the App Store and then to download the Remote Air apps first, okay? And then, okay, you slide your... Um, your phone onto the control. So underneath there is a button to switch on the control. So because this is a Bluetooth, make sure that your iPhone have to switch on your Bluetooth. Okay, so once you switch on here, so you get this the screen and then the channel is 13 okay so once you do that okay and then you can actually just activate your apps so when you activate the um, um, the apps and then make sure that your Bluetooth logo is on so once you do it on and then okay you are now connected with the control okay so when you set up the remote okay now we can switch on the motor so we switch on the first one with the uh, display and then we switch on the other two. So there is a button under the control here, 
and then you press it for several seconds and then they will actually switch on. So in this, okay, once you switch on and then you will see there is a different colors because different colors is presenting different channels. So you can set like maybe, uh, maybe uh, several uh, motors in the same channels, which you can do it like maybe uh, uh, easily. So, and also, you see the lights is sometimes fresh, faster, or maybe not fresh. It means the speed of the motors. So how to set it up and it's very easy. Every motors, and then there will be there will be a, a setting showing you, okay, you press two times and then that is setting channels. Press five times, that is setting the speed. It's very, very easy to set up. Let's talk about like maybe how to set it up. Okay, so first you need to do the alignment. So, um, okay, there is two, uh, there is two methods you can do the alignment. First is next to the antenna, there is an auto button. Press it for several seconds and then you will find out, okay, the, all the motors which connected will do the alignment at the same time. So that is the first method. And the other method is actually on the apps, you will see under the focus and then there is an auto button. So at the same, you press for like maybe uh, uh, three or four seconds and then they will also do uh, alignment too. So, but the only difference is when you press the auto buttons on the apps and then some setting you haven't been saved and then will be disappear. So I will recommend you to connect it, to, to press the buttons onto the remote control rather than the apps, okay? So on the screen, it's pretty easy. So you will see there is three columns, focus, iris, and zoom. Okay, and the focus and the iris is pretty like the same. So the AB is stand for, okay, you can set the AP point. So when you set the A point and then you set the B point and then the, the, um, um, your phone or the iPad, uh, iPod touch will be vibrate and then tell you that, okay, you are already been set. And also when you turn the knob or maybe you control the, uh, um, the focus uh, through the touch screen and then once you reach the point and then they will also give you a vibrations. Okay, it's very easy to set up. Okay, so let us like let me do a, 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 a simple setup. Okay, for example, like okay now. Okay, I want to set this on A. Okay, so then I set this on B. So now, okay, I already set up in A B point. So rather other than okay, you can actually using the knob to control this and then through the uh, uh, through the shots. Other than that, you can also using the touch screen. And also at the touch screen, you can probably like zoom in or maybe zoom out to get more precision like focus. It's the same on the iris and also the same on the zoom. Okay, but on the zoom, there is something different. Okay, other than the uh, zoom and then they will see there is a button here. So you can do, okay, you can do a, 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 a servo zoom, which is very smooth and easy through a touch screen here. At the same time, you can also using the uh, um, the side button here, and then you can touch this, and then to do the zoom, it's pretty easy. But uh, the one that I want to show you is the timer functions. So, okay, in other than other than the AB point, and up here you will see there is a numbers. So that is the numbers. You can type a, a time, for example, in second, for example, like five seconds, which I want to do the zoom. Okay. So when I set this, and then you will see there is a five numbers on the on the box, and also there is a two arrow. What is mean the two arrow? The two arrow is means that like okay, you want to do the zoom in, and then they will also automatically do the zoom out. So if you want to only want to do the zoom in or zoom out, double tap it, and then you will see the arrow will back into one direction only. So how to every way up first, you have to make sure that like you have to set the AB point. If you haven't set the AB point, this function haven't been activated. So once you set the AB point and then, okay, you press the, uh, the, the, the timer buttons. So then, okay. Okay, so I put the B point first. Okay, so then, okay, it will do the zoom automatically. So it's very easy and then everything is been just like maybe easy to put everything through a touch screen. So that's why how dramatic or how easy and then maybe you can control your wireless floor focus through a wireless apps.